I had a whole different topic for this week, but after after the couple of days that I had, it all changed, and I decided that this is what I was going to talk about. I got a story to tell, and let's get on with it. So it was Thursday morning. I'm going to get myself to work, and while I'm on my drive to the office, I get arrested for a. F I'm trying not to cuss in this video. <laughs> I get arrested for a traffic offense, and I think it's going to be simple. Definitely, I tried to talk my way out of it, but the cop just wasn't listening. I don't know what was up in his boxes that day, but he just didn't want to give me the time of day. So we went down to the police station, and I'm still trying to plead my way out, trying to talk to this motherfucker, make him understand that it was an accident, it was a mistake, and I'm not going to do it again. But We get to the courts, and I'm thinking that it's, it's, it's in the morning, because we got there at about uh, 10.30. I'm thinking it's the morning, so I'm, I'm gonna be out of here basically by lunchtime. And it's not gonna take that much time. Supposedly the judiciary system was fixed, so stuff should move on quickly, and I'm hopeful. Wrong. I was in that bitch until 3 p.m. From 10:30 to 3 p.m. in a 10 by 10 cell with over 15 other individuals. Now, being in a cell, it's not, it's, it's not as bad as it seems. Okay, yes, it's unnerving, but it's not as bad as it seems. You get to meet a bunch of people. And there are some guys who are really proud about being in a cell. As in, there's this one guy who came in and it was like it was his birthday. He was so bloody excited that he was in a cell. He's talking, he's giving us... Actually, I, I gotta thank him. I don't know if we're gonna watch this video, but I gotta thank him. He kept me company for a whole... 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, no, 3, 3, 6 hours, yes, I was in the cell for 6 hours, so finally they get us to the courtroom and um, simply, I was advised, just plead guilty and let the shit slide, pay the fine and leave, so this isn't even half of it, you think I had a messed up day, not yet, so I get my ass in a matatu and I head back to the police station because uh, they impounded my car as I went to court. So when I get there, and I'm, I'm, I'm pissed as hell, you, you can bet that I'm pissed as hell. All those cops who were trying to mess with me are now all of a sudden very playful and shit, and I'm mad as fuck. So I walk into the, in the traffic section, hand them that fucking slip, uh, they give me my car keys, and I go I go in my car, because I, I just want to go home. As in, I'm just so tired and frustrated, I just want to go home. I get to my car. Imagine this shit went down at a police station. I get to my car and my car's been vandalized. I mean, this guy is, couldn't wait even 24 hours before they started stripping my car. I'm very lucky that I came early because all they managed to take were the automatic window switches. But I can only imagine if I spent maybe, if, if I left it there overnight, I may have found that shit standing on bricks. The bottom line of this video is, guys, if you thought that a police station is a safe place, I am here to tell you that you couldn't be more wrong. 